Alright dudes, welcome back. Um, we're playing the crew again. Um, Alright, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm retarded. Wait, where am I going? Oh my god, I have to look at the minimap. Because I'm stupid. Right. Welcome back to the crew, guys. Also, somebody had told me that the reason why I couldn't slide around or anything is because my assists were all on. Which makes sense. But, let's see here. All driving here. Oh, hardcore support. I'm going to put this on hardcore, I guess. Alright, I'll see what hardcore's like. All right, let's see what this is like. What are we doing? Some guy named Ship. Before I met yet, gotta ask him a few questions about money going missing. So why am I here? Why not one of your five pens? You're an asshole. It's a little bit better, actually. If I've got to put Ship back in line, I want the best driver I've got to burn him on the road. Okay, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> I was giving you a chance to take this stuff seriously. Yeah, it's still a little bit bad, but it's not as bad as it was before with all the assists on. I feel like this is a little bit more drivable. I, I feel like there's a little bit more of a feel to it. What's loss again? Okay. That was pretty easy. Even just me fucking around, I still managed to get to where I needed to go. I have to give this guy a lift to where he needs to go, and I just fucking do a U-turn, like a handbrake U-turn in the middle of the street. <laughs> it's a little bit too... <sighs> unrealistic, this game. Just a little bit too much. That's, that's the only thing. That's my only downfall with this game right now. It's just a little bit too unrealistic. And I feel like the driving physics are the same as in the... Uh, in Watchdogs. And I hated the driving physics of Watchdogs. I just hated it. It was awful. The graphics are very good though. I'm definitely, definitely liking the graphics. They're very good. Even when I'm playing, they're actually still pretty good. Ooh, for GT. Okay. Why does my dude look like he's about 50? Oh yeah, totally put your... Oh. Well, that ain't mine. This one's dead. No! Alright. Well, I'm guessing the FBI are working with the dude in the GT... In the 4 GT. This what's called a GT40. Five years later. Oh, cool, I'm 55 now. I'm 55 years old. Hello, Alex. My name's Zoe. 
I think we can help each other. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dirty. All I need is proof. And you want this guy, Dennis Jefferson, AKA Shiv, leader of the 510 Motor Club. I'm in. You've got eight more years in here. We can wipe that slate clean, clear your name. I said I'm in. Okay, you're hereby working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. There's a ride in the shop across town. I'll be in touch. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Whatever gets you stoked. Whatever floats your goat. Yeah, I'm still not a big fan of the driving. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> uh, the glitchiness is real. You can definitely tell this is a Ubisoft game. <laughs> have a budget for this operation, Alex, but it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. It's limited. That, you'll have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure. All right. So 370. Mustang. North Camaro. I might go with the um with the 370. Just because it's like the only like six cylinder here, all these are all just too American for me. <laughs> I mean, I love the Mustang, I love the Challenger, I love the Camaro, but I'm just it's, they're just a little bit too American. I'm not I'm not down to always drive American cars in this game since I have been all like since the beginning of the game right now. I think I'll go with the 370 just yeah, just because. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Just buy it. Um. <laughs> Did they literally just release this game with all these bugs and glitches in it? Oh my god, man. It's exactly like any other Ubisoft game. Any other Assassin's Creed I've ever played, which was like two of them, because they're all super fucking glitchy. the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars, so you might want to swing by each and take a look. There are 510 tuners all over the country who specialize in different car modifications. As this operation progresses, you'll need to access these tuners. But for now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides, built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason. Street spec should be your first choice for cross-country road trips. Okay. So I have to go to this, right? Or do I have to do a race first? What is this? Speed skill one, a driving test. Which I think it's locked. Right, so I'm here, right? These are jump skills. Do I need more? No, I have 30, 35k right now. I think I can see that at the top of the screen. So I have to go here right now. So set waypoint. Yeah, I'm guessing I have to go to to the tuner. There's a tuner across town. I'll send the location to your phone. Call me when you're done. Okay, it's still a little bit weird. Driving this thing. That 
looks very wrong. That four tries to connect looks very, very wrong. It looks like a little... Oh my god, that looks awful. <laughs> If you're gonna make the cars like okay, never mind. I guess they would have needed like what's this? Crown Vic, sort of, almost. <laughs> All right. I don't know what the handbrake is. What's the handbrake in this? Okay, I figured out the handbrake. Let's try to see if I can get a drift. Oh my god, that was the best drift ever! Oh shit. Yeah, the driving physics are just... are pretty bad. Alright, let's tune something. <laughs> let's get going. Okay, Alex. Let's get your ride fitted for streets back. Got it. What the fuck are with the wheels? Every car you buy at a car dealer is a full stock ride, ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. The higher the car level, the better it performs. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, so, wait, what's the difference? Does it look any different? Level 1, I guess. I can't really do anything else. Level 30, what the hell? Uh, yeah, I guess. Choose a starter kit. Looking good. Let's hit the streets. Okay, it looks a little bit better. It looks like it has an Amuse kit. <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. It looks like an Amuse body kit right now. Tune your car. Yeah, sure, I guess. What do I tune on it? Visual or performance? Visual. Color. I should paint it white because then it definitely looks like an Amuse body kit. Like a, an Amuse car. <laughs> yeah, I'm painting it white. <laughs> Do I have enough money? I do. Stickers. Let's put some stickers on it. Oh my god. Look at these pretty stickers. No thanks. Interior. Right. Aluminium or carbon? Or wood. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. That looks awful. I'm putting it on. <laughs> Front bumper. Now I sort of like the amuse kit on it. Rear bumper though. Let's see. Rear bumper. I like this one. Let's put that up. Rear fender skirts. All right. Uh, rims. Definitely want to change these. So these are just stock. There we go. Rear wing. Is that it? Those are just the only two wings. What's this look like? Okay, that looks pretty good. And then hood. There we go. 
Yeah, performance. Exhaust, nothing in this category. ECU, nothing in this category. Nothing. Okay, so is there anything in any of these? Apparently not. Okay, cool. Never mind. Let's go back out on the street. Yeah, I'm done. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks quite good. Alright. Now, let's see what we gotta do next. Alex, come over to the location I'm sending you now. I wanna see how you handle yourself. Sounds pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Some horrible parallel parking. It's fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, I mean, it's the game's sort of okay, but I'm just... I don't know, dude. The, the, the driving's a little bit weird. The game's a little bit glitchy, which... Sometimes it's actually kind of fun to play on, you know, playing a, a glitchy game, but I don't know. I'll see. I'll play this a little bit more, and uh, I'll see what I think of it. But anyway, for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.